At the height of the war, air superiority over the Luftwaffe was vital in firstly, the protection of Britain and also taking the fight to the enemy across the water. This meant there was a major increase in the number of airfields. RAF Homesley South was one of these new airfields. RAF Homesley South in the New Forest was built hurriedly during 1941 and 1942 and accommodated aircraft and personnel from No. 19 Group Coastal Command supporting Operation Torch in North Africa. The airfield opened on the 1st of September 1942 before even the works were complete. The first aircraft to arrive at the airfield in October of the same year were the United States Air Force Consolidated B-24 Liberators which were used to carry out anti-submarine patrols. In 1943, RAF Handley Page Halifax squadrons carried out glider towing duties in preparation for operations all over the world whilst continuing anti-submarine patrols. In December 1943, the Halifaxes left for Pembrokeshire. In 1944, RAF Homesley South saw major changes. The airfield transferred control to the RAF Fighter Bomber Command. Spitfire and Hawker Typhoon squadrons were amongst those that moved in. The Hawker Typhoon squadrons provided direct support to ground troops as part of D-Day on the 6th of June 1944. Another squadron that called the airfield home was the number 418 flying de Havilland Mosquitoes. This unit became very successful in destroying the V-1 flying bombs that devastated so many lives. By the start of July 1944, for one month, the airfield was handed over to the American Air Force to become Station 455 flying the Martin B-26 Marauder medium bombers. In October of the same year, RAF Transport Command took over with such aircraft as Vickers Warwick's, Consolidated B-24 Liberators and Avro York. These aircraft were used to transport freight and troops abroad for the rest of the war. In 1946, the airfield closed for military use. The local council employed numerous support buildings as supposed temporary housing until the early 1960s. Nowadays, the site of the airfield is mostly owned by the Forestry Commission as part of the Holmesley campsite. If you are willing, there is still much of the airfield that remains. There are still sections of the original runway that survive. There are also areas of the perimeter track and hard standing areas where planes once stood. If you keep your eyes peeled, you can still make out the location of the old runways, which are long since demolished. There are also some smaller features that exist such as concrete squares which held the runway lights. If you hunt through the underground, you can find what remains of an underground bunker which was once the site of the Battlefield HQ. On the edge of the site lies a poignant reminder of the sacrifices made during the war. The Airfield War Memorial shows all the local airfields that existed in World War II. This provides a lovely spot where you can come to pay your respects to the brave souls who made the ultimate sacrifice. The site of the former airfield provides not just a fascinating journey into history, 
but also a lovely day out for the avid walkers and nature lovers alike. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and show your support for free by subscribing to the channel. Thanks very much.